Hello guys, so I'm back again and now I'm back with my assignment. This is the first time showing you guys my assignment. So let's get straight to the point. What I want to start doing whenever I'm given assignment, I do when I get it, I post it online. So if anybody having the same problem, they can actually go through it. So I'm gonna try my best to explain it. I'm also a beginner at Python. So I've experiment number two, the Loshu Magic Square. The Loshu Magic Square is a grid with three rows and three columns shown in figure eight. It's figure eight here. Below. The Loshu Magic Square has the following properties. The grid contains number one through nine exactly. Some of each row, each column, each diagonal all add up to the same number. It's shown in figure B. If you check figure B down here. You add all add up to this 15. I mean this row 15. It is 15. 15. 15. 15. Even the dark the rows and columns 15. And the diagonals 15. 15. In the program you can simulate the matches creating a two-dimensional list as the function and accept a two-dimensional list and argument and determines whether the list is a Lushu magic square that's the function in the program so this is my square this is, this is actually a correct Lushu magic square so when I press run as you can see it tells me your 2d list is a Lushu magic square you see what happening here if I first print it out in a square format like this and I print it out in one dimensional format. So let's go to our result. So this here allows me to print it out in this beautiful way here. This four columns here. Let me add some space. Oh, there's no need. Okay. This here is for this for loop. The for loop allowed me to print each row. So I print each row to so look more like a square. So now the issue this 2D, this list 2D is an argument that I'll call it a 2D array. And then this is I'll call it a two-dimensional list. There are no arrays in Python. So if this instance, that means you check you should check if my list 2D is a list. If it's a list to return true. Return true. So that is like saying if true. And and also if the length of the list two-dimensional is equal to that means if it has three rules. That means you can see the two dimension array. Just to be sure that it look, it's, it's more like a Lushu square. So to check the length of the Lushu magic square, see it has three rows row one, row two, row three. So now, first, first, the first step is to convert it, to convert my list to a one dimensional list. So I check the side gigs for gigs. So I saw that for have many methods, they have the sum method, it's easy for me to understand. Or to list 1d equals to sum list 2d this and this should tell us if it's a list tell me if it's a list so this will add it and it will give us this result here that what is printing out here that's converted to one dimensional array so easy for us to work with it i was the two dimension array my code was getting really long so the other thing if i was if i was if i was able to flatten it to one dimensional it was easy for me to work with for example if i use the two dimensional array it would difficult for me for me to check if a value has been duplicated i have to check each row i have to check like each i have to go through each value in the two dimensional one or the other but in one dimensional array i can just use a set i'm going to explain it a set set does not have to set does not allow duplicate values if the duplicate value to not add it to his to his list this is what i did here so i'm going to explain it later on so this is if max list one d greater than equals to 10 or mean so if the value no Lushu according to the instruction given the Lushu might square have number from one to nine there's no zero there's no minus one so this is what this line this if statement is what block starts if I put the value greater than ten it will it will run it will run and if I put a value less than less than zero it will also run so let's try that i didn't tell you what to return if it's i didn't put an else statement for that. let's try 10 and see the result out of range check if your list has a value greater than nine or less than or less than zero as you can see the number is big 
she tells us it's out of range okay yeah, I thought it would return something false Ooh. what was the number that was there before I think it should be 6 6 so the next one should be this line now remember what this one does to check just to help us make sure that the user does not input a the square does not have a value greater than 10 or less than less than zero let's try a value less than zero like minus one and run it out of range again as you can see here out of range so let's go to the next line of code Okay. So now this this line 18 now. If len list 1D is not the cost, so now this checks if they are duplicates. Now normally set does not allow duplicate values. Let me open IDO, which is the official Python IDE. Now I think I just try type in set one one. Let's try something. Let's first create a list. A is equal to one, two, two, comma three. Hmm? Oh shit! Yeah, I put two question mark. One, two, three, four, three, four. I think that's okay now. So if I should ask to print set a oh I didn't duplicate any value in a so let's just duplicate some values one two comma two comma four and close that and press enter now if I have print set a now watch the magic see you remove all the duplicates so that's what is and see the length reduce so if it is a duplicate the length will not be the same again with the original value that's what I did here so I said if length is i which is the original one dimensional array I've converted two dimensional into one dimensional array using this sum here it adds each row together so it does it just turns to one list sorry i'm sorry i'm mixing up list and arrays i meant list when i said arrays so if length list one is not equal to length so need the length to change when it's set for every duplicate to be removed so if they are not equal i'm just that means a duplicate so i print check the list they are duplicate values return false this will come out and return a value false so it'll come out of the function let's try to duplicate a value Let's type one one and press. See, so check your lists. You check your lists. They are duplicate values. So you can see that works well. So you cannot accept any duplicates. So now I'm done with that. Now this now the main property of the magic square is that the rows I add the rows together. Any, any of the rows together but it will give you the same answer even to get the add and any add any of the columns together to give you the same answer so the rows they are equal to the the sum of numbers in the rows are equal to some of the numbers in the columns let's go back to the assignment so let's see if you can understand it properly as you can see if you figure b here it said this row sum of the 15 and diagonal will be 15 so it will be 15 this 15 this 15 this 15 this 15 this 15 so that's what i'm checking here now but this is this row one song now i see something here i use two dimension here i'm using the one dimensional list here you can use any one you want the one dimensional list is easier that puts so you can see that there are two methods you can there are two ways around it now for a list two dimension i want to get the value at zero zero if i come to here zero zero is this four here over here over here zero one is nine zero 
zero two is two here so if i put the next row now that will be one this is one zero one one this, these are the coordinates and one two here is two zero two one and two two and two two but now this is a one dimensional array so four here is zero one two three four five six seven eight so four is zero nine is one two is two three is three five is four seven is five eight is six one is seven and one is eight so so to them one dimension is easy to work with. i don't need to put two coordinates i don't have to put one coordinate that's what i did here now i want to add all the rows together so here i did this 2d00 as four zero one is nine and zero two zero two is two see i have a mistake here thank god i saw that so this should be two two let's see that should be two zero two one two two and that I've submitted rubbish assignment too. Thank God. So added this row together, added this the second row, added the third row together. This so this is the first row, the second row, the third row. Now I can I can also do this in a one dimensional instead of writing this 2D1, I can write this found list 1D and just write a zero. So it and still going to work out if I approach from I won't get any error. My list your to the list is a Lushu magic square, it still works perfectly. So you can use anyone you like. Anyone you like. So let's continue. Let me check if this video is still recording. So we are still recording. So that's all. So for right diagonal, I did the same thing. I did the value at the right diagonal. So this numbers there will tell you the coordinates of the value you want. I want to bring up this list one D. This is a one dimensional array. This is a one dimensional array. So I say two. I'm looking for the character, the third position. Two number arrays that count from zero to zero, one, two. They start from four. Four is zero, one, and two. So this is two. I'm so I want two, which is at this side. I want two, I want five, I want eight for the right diagonal. So I added two, I added two value, I have two. This is this list one D four represent five. I count it here. One, two, three, zero, one, two, three, four, so represent five. And the list one D six represents uh which represent our eight here. So this gives us the right diagonal, the same thing for the left diagonal also. And I use this beautiful this beautiful statement to check if all these values are equal to each other. So if row one sum equals row two sum equals if row one sum equal to equal now we use equal equal to if you use two equal to we are trying to check we use one equal to one assigning the value. Now I'm assigning the sum of these values here. The sum of these values here to row one, the row one sum. That's I'm using one equal to, but now I'm checking if they are equal. What I'm doing, I'm checking if row one is equal to row two. It equals to root three sum, it equals to co one sum, it equals to co two sum, it equals to co three sum, and it equals to right diagonal sum and left diagonal sum. If all of them are equal, I print your 2D list is a Lushu magic square. Else return true. Okay, so I return true. Else print this. Okay. Let's, let's return false too, if it's else. Return false. So that's easy as that. I tell you to print Lushu Magic Square. I'm print the result of our Lushu Magic Square. Alright, let's type run again. Hmm, we have an error somewhere. Oh, I've touched something now. Let's check the error. Row one sum. I think let's go and check who did something to row one sum. Row one sum. What did we do? Oh, I forgot to change the one back to two. So now the error should disappear. Now this is the value we actually what we actually printing here true. 
so if I remove this if I remove the print option for this guy and for this one dimensional array I got only true false true false what if I remove all this print statement as you get those true and false true and false telling me if my Lushu magic square if my the two dimensional list is a Lushu magic square so thanks for watching guys and I hope I'll be able to open the video of the rest thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time bye